I'm Maddie, and today I'm in the kitchen about to cook up something to eat. And one of my favourite things to cook are eggs. Do you like eggs? One of the best things about eggs is that there's loads of different ways you can cook them. You can boil them, fry them, scramble them, or my favourite, poach them. But have you noticed that no matter how you cook them, they always go from this, a clear runny liquid with a yellow blob in the middle, to this, something that's hard and white. How does an egg work? And do you know where eggs come from? Let's find out. How does it work? An egg. You can buy eggs in all sorts of places. The supermarket, your local shop, or even an egg farm like this. But do you know which animal <laughs> most eggs come from? <laughs> That's right, chickens. <laughs> Listen to the sound they're making. It's like a little cluck, 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 isn't it? It's actually quite noisy. Let's go see where these chickens lay their eggs. Excuse me. Hello, girls. This is a chicken coop, and it's where the chickens live and lay their eggs. This chicken here is making some rather funny noises. So I think she might be about to lay an egg. Let's go around the side and see if we can find it. Oh, the chickens have been busy. Look how many eggs they've laid. Aren't you clever, girls? Let's collect some of these and take them home. So now you know where eggs come from, but why do the inside of eggs go hard and white when you cook them? Do you know? Let's find out. To show you how this turns into this, we need to get cooking. So let's crack new egg into the poaching pan. But remember, if you want to cook anything at home, you should always get a grown-up to help you. There are two parts to an egg. This clear bit around the side is called the egg white, and then the yellow blob in the middle is called the egg yolk. Keep an eye on them as they cook, and watch what happens. We're speeding this up a bit so you can see it happen. Can you see how quickly the clear gooey bit is going white and the yellow bit in the middle, the yolk, is changing too? It's gone quite firm. It took just a few minutes to cook, but what's going on inside the egg to make it go white and hard? To find out, we need to take a closer look. Here comes a chicken. Inside the chicken, a little egg grows. It gets bigger and bigger until it cracked into the pan. Inside egg whites and yolks are lots of very, very tiny things called proteins floating in liquid. They are so tiny we can't see them with our eyes. Each protein is twisted and curled up. When the egg is heated, the proteins start to uncurl and join together. As the egg gets hotter and the chains join up, they make a crisscross pattern, which traps the liquid inside. As this happens, the egg turns white and the yolk goes hard. How brilliant is that? All of that going on inside one egg. Well, I've got one egg for my tea, but I think I want two. So let's cook another one, but this time use my special camera. This is a thermal camera and it shows me what's hot and what's cold using different colours. Let's heat this egg up and see what it looks like. And wow! You can see that the flame is white. That's because it's super, super hot. And the egg inside is blue. That's because I've only just put it in, so it's still cool from being in the kitchen. Let's keep an eye on it and see if this egg changes colour as it gets hotter and hotter. Look! You can see the outside of the egg is turning yellow because as it's cooking, it's getting warmer. The inside of the egg is still blue because it's not cooked yet, so it's still cold. Come on, yolk, catch up. And just a few moments later, the egg is now all yellow and green, which means it's warm and almost cooked. 
all of those proteins will be uncurling and forming the crisscross pattern that traps the water droplets. And if I have a look at it, the egg's gone white and the yolk has gone firm. That means it's cooked and ready to eat. What was your favourite bit about seeing how an egg works? Do you remember what happened to the egg as it was cooking? It went hard and white. Did you hear the clucking sound the chickens made? <laughs> and did you see my thermal camera showing the egg turning from blue to yellow and green as it was cooked? Mmm! My eggs are yummy. And the next time you have eggs or you see eggs being cooked, you'll know just what's going on inside them. I don't know about you, but when I have eggs, I like to have toast. It's just bread that's been popped in the toaster or under the grill for about a minute till it's crunchy and hard, like this. So, you know how toast is made, but what about the bread? Do you know how bread is made? Let's find out. How is it made? is a bakery. There are lots of different types of bread made here and the main ingredient is flour. So I've come to a mill and here they make flour. But this flour here is made from a plant that's grown on farms. It's called wheat. And this is called an ear of wheat. Inside this bit at the top, we find some grains. And these grains are taken into the mill to be turned into flour. First, the grains are crushed by rollers into smaller pieces. This is called milling. Next, the milled grains go through this strange looking machine. It's called a sifter. It works a little bit like a sieve you might have at home, only this one is a giant wobbly box. <laughs> it gets rid of all of the rough bits and leaves only the soft flour. And here we have the finished flour straight from the sister. It's lovely, light and soft. The flour is loaded into a lorry called a tanker through this big yellow tube. And then it'll be driven off to the bakery, ready to be turned into a loaf of bread. And this is the bakery. The tanker is offloading the flour into these enormous containers called silos. There are smaller silos which contain the other ingredients. Salt mixed with water, vegetable fat and yeast. Do you know what yeast is? Well, it's a special ingredient that helps make bread rise. It works best when it's kept nice and warm. All of the main ingredients come into the bakery through pipes in the ceiling, and then they go to a giant mixer. <laughs> Look at that! A huge ball of bread dough just plops out. That would make one enormous loaf of bread, wouldn't it? The dough goes into this machine to be divided. Each chunk makes one loaf. If you've ever made bread at home, you'll know you have to do something called kneading. And kneading is when you use the heel of your hand to press and stretch the dough. It makes it stretchy and elastic, which helps the bread to rise. Kneading takes quite a long time, so the bakery have come up with this clever cone-shaped machine to do the job quickly. Look how fast the dough is whizzing around the machine, being kneaded. The special camera lets us see things in slow motion, so we can see in detail how the kneading machine twists and turns the bread. Look how the machine rolls the dough. It looks like a football. Once the pieces of bread dough have been kneaded, they need to rest. And this stage is called proving. And it happens here on these moving shelves. 
during proving, the special ingredient, yeast, starts to work to make the dough rise. And after about eight minutes, the dough is dropped onto these conveyor belts where it goes to get rolled. Proof dough goes through a series of rollers where it shapes and rolls to be the right length. But they look a bit like sausages, don't they? From here, the dough is dropped into baking tins and continues along the conveyor belt to another machine, which gently warms the dough. This makes the yeast work a second time so that the bread rises again. Here the bread comes now. Can you see how much bigger each loaf is? The yeast has worked inside the dough to make it rise. The dough is almost ready to be baked, but there's just time for a few finishing touches. That might be a dusting of flour on top, or in this case, a sprinkling of seeds. The loaves are heading into this enormous oven. It's 39 metres long, and that's the same as four buses. The loaves stay in the oven for around 25 minutes and then they come out here. Can you see they've turned a lovely golden brown colour? Can you hear that noise? That's the sound of the loaves being sucked out of the baking tin. Sounds a bit like a steam train, doesn't it? The finished loaves are cooled. Sliced, put in packets, and then taken in crates to the warehouse. Just look how much bread there is. It takes four hours to make a loaf of bread here, and now it's ready to go to the shops for people like you and me to buy and eat. Yum! <laughs> what did you like most about seeing how bread is made? Can you remember the main ingredient of bread that comes from wheat? That's right, it's flour. Did you hear the machine that sucks up the loaves from the tins? And did you see the kneading machine slow down on my special camera? So the next time you sit down to eat some bread, you'll know just how it's made. And you also know what happens inside an egg when it's cooked. Now, I'm going to take this freshly made loaf home with me for my lunch. I'll see you next time. <laughs>